Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody who's watching this video later on on YouTube for some Grixis control. We have a donation deck here. All right, so we just got done playing Mono White Angels. We were in our third match of the league and the internet went out for just like a minute. It was unfortunate. We were we won game one. We were up game two and we were we were looking pretty good in game two, but then it went out, disconnected me. Um, so we lost the match and had to reset the stream and so had to reset the recording so unfortunately not going to have that video up for youtube for y'all and so we're just going to kind of move on here from mono white angels to grixis control and do the next two and maybe play another deck here today uh, we'll see how it kind of works out with times but anyway so this was a donation deck uh, submitted by a viewer to try out and it looks like we have everything in here so grixis control one thing about it is there are a lot of good cards you can play in the color combination, but playing exactly which cards and how much is difficult to, to know at times. And looks like this deck, we just want to play them all, <laughs> basically. You know, we have uh, three, you know, the fourth Otter Agers, of course, that card's too good to not play four of. So we got four of those, and then three Nickel Bulls, the Ravagers, and then one or two of everything else. So this, this looks like this will be... Uh, a league where we're going to be playing uh, a whole lot of different cards all the time and so it'll be kind of fun to see how they all uh, pair out i know we had um when we were just setting this up here we had a viewer that was wondering about the narsets in particular of playing these double blue cards where we only have 15 blue sources in here there's also blood crypts and dragon skull summits down here and that, so that could be a little tough, but yeah, we have double blues with Narset, Kefnet, Enter the God Eternals. Um, hopefully, Thought Erasure can can help fix our mana, but I guess, you know, we're playing Angras, Rampage, and Bedeck, Bedeck so we don't want a, a ton of blue, I guess. Yeah, our, our mana requirements are are kind of rough. You know, curving Rampage, Bedeck into Narset, not going to really happen. Good thing about Narset is it's not a card that you necessarily need to slam on turn three or anything like that. You can play it later and it's and it's just fine so if we don't have double blue on turn three we'll, we should still be good um but yeah we got a lot of different cards that are going to be good in various situations which is what you usually have in reactive decks and so let's give this a try and see how it works out so with it being a donation deck we're going to go ahead and head on over to the traditional constructed cues <clears throat> and we'll play a league here where we play until we win five or lose two. All right, let's get started. I've been seeing Bedeck. I've been seeing a lot of people play Bedeck recently in different Grixis lists. Seems like it's a pretty popular card these days. We got good mana and a good amount of lands. We have 26 in the deck. I like that. I like 26 lands in this kind of deck. Oh, you got wrecked by a pump spell once. So you bedecked their creature and they kept it alive with a pump spell and then you took a bajillion damage. That's unfortunate. All right, so double black for turn three would be Cry of the Carnarium. Which obviously we don't have in hand right now, but we, we could technically draw it, and it could be good with this being a Phoenix deck. I think there's only one Cry in the main, I think. Yeah, just the one Cry in the main, so that's the only double black for this next turn. Um, stop. There we go. The feather list is right here. We have a Kefnet. Let's 
keep that. I wanted to find Cry of the Carnarium, but maybe double Enter the God Eternals could work. Yeah, we, we did good with Feather again yesterday. We went 4-2. Only losing to the only losing to two Arclight Phoenix decks, but um, ugh. But I don't think Arclight Phoenix is really a, necessarily a bad matchup for that deck. We had each each one of the matches we had like mana troubles one of the games. For example, All right, I want to. I wouldn't mind them using the lava coil on the hostage taker. Oh, that's annoying. Because if they use the lava coil there, then they are not going to use the lava coil on the Enter the God Eternals, of course. Blood Moon Walkers? No, not anytime soon. No, I don't. I don't play modern anymore. I just play arena. But yeah, Blood Moon Walker is a sweet deck for sure. Alright, here comes the Phoenix. So we're going to take five. Down to eleven. Getting Eldest Reborn started. Because I want to be able to do th third chapter here of Eldest Reborn as quickly as possible to like hostage take the Phoenix and be able to cast the Phoenix. I don't think it makes a ton of sense to mill them with Eldest Reborn. So we're milling us. Hmm. Those are some good cards. Of course, we can grab any of those with Elder Shiborn also. That's not bad. Let's get Bolus, though. Make them discard this last card. Who is a finale? Nice. Oh, there goes my cry of the Carnarium. worked out for us though yeah now we just have this 8-8 eight 8-8's eight. are pretty big I want to shock my bolus sure let's take this and they're going to have one draw step. Oh, I was going to play the Narset so they couldn't draw another card. Alright, well that worked out well. We got more cries. We got one more cry. Alright, get this other cry in here. I mean, Narset is awesome against them. For sure. Ooh, Unmoored Ego Phoenix. That sounds pretty sweet. Moment Craving, good against... Not great against Phoenix, but it's good against Electromancer. I 
I don't think Eldritch Reborn is usually that good, but it worked out that game. But I think I'm going to take it out. Um... Hmm. It's like everything's so situational. Like you can you can think of like situations where every card's like going to be good, but then other situations where you're like, okay, that card's not good. <laughs> I can I can see basically playing everything except for elders. Well, no no elder spell ritual. So I can see playing all of these, and I can see basically playing everything in here. All right, we'll get rid of Liliana. We'll get rid of Eldest Reborn. I think Hostage Taker is usually not that good, even though it was good that those games. Do I have enough removal for Drakes now, though? All these cards that don't kill drakes. Maybe I want this because it gets rid of a drake. I need Soul Diviner in this matchup. It's not going to do anything. Yeah, could cut Soul Diviners. Yeah, then I ran out of time, and then after I cut the Soul Diviners, I said like six seconds, and I was like, no, I'll just submit. I don't want to risk it. Take it. Ugh. I could certainly see Ral not doing anything. Maybe I should be playing Duress instead of Ral. Sacrifice one creature, please. You can choose the creature. Any creature you want. But one creature, that's the cost of continuing to play the game. Alright, they chose Electromancer. I hope they get... No, I was going to say, I hope they get multiple Phoenixes back this turn. Ugh. I don't want to do this. Yeah. But I want to be able to double spell with, like, Coil and Narset next turn. It just uses my mana a whole lot better than just playing Coil. Do I even play Narset? Hmm. Narset makes it hard for the Phoenixes to come back, but I actually kind of want the Phoenixes to come back. The reason to hold her would be... Seen all four phoenixes. I wasn't really punished. If I played the Narset, it would have just died here. Just drew another one, but. But we only knew about two phoenixes. We didn't know about the other two. We weren't really necessarily like, trying to take nine. I know any of thoughtfulness before action.
still have much to learn. Okay. So they just got a coil. Tilt. No, don't you do it. Okay. Those who cannot meditate and prepare. All right, four lands to the bottom. They just discarded. Recklessness and fear. I don't I don't want to have the Narset die to a shock. I'm gonna just keep it at three. Of course he'll die to a lightning strike right now, but I'm just gonna keep it there. Truth lies beyond vision. They got so excited with this tormenting voice. They're like, ooh, that, look at that tormenting voice. I'm gonna discard that. Are you kidding me? Four lands in a row after our last minus just put four lands to the bottom? That was eight lands in a row? I mean, I can't really complain about where we're at right now, but still. Secrets manifest before you. Marsh, I was playing, see these R's? I was playing ranked with those decks uh, earlier. This is a donation deck. Donation decks, I I don't throw donation decks in ranked. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. All right, we got there. Want to know? I don't have any best of one decks, no. The one that we're going to be playing later on here. Ooh, I didn't I don't have this other princes, I guess. But yeah, yesterday I just wasn't feeling like playing ranked. And kind of good thing I didn't didn't play my best yesterday um but today i was feeling good feeling like playing ranked which i still didn't play like my best with the judith priest deck um angels unfortunately we got disconnected while we were playing but my goal or like the plan was to play that and i was going to be playing the demir control and ranked today as well but then we got this donation deck to play this grixis so we're doing this one here hmm This is like gain three and go look for something. I mean, it's better than a random card, I guess. Because we can actually play it next turn and just gain three life. I guess it could be gain five if I want. If I just don't minus. Mind and body should move in unison. Like wind nah, and minus. I have just the trick for this. And yeah, they may ignore it. It does like I mean it does just draw me another card, you know, so but yeah, maybe they ignore it. We'll see. You know, does it get to impulse again and make let me like dig deeper to look for my cry of the carnarium or ritual set? <laughs> Sloppy tech. All right, so we're gonna just do two to it.
So we can get rid of a Lava Runner or something else. Lava Runner, a random card. Yeah. Thought it was going to be Lava Runner. All right, Elisha Born comes on down, getting that in play, of course, because of, you know, like, because of, like, the second and third chapter, especially that third chapter, I want to happen as soon as possible. We're going to be able to gain the two life, whether it's this turn or next turn. Either way, but I want that third chapter to happen fast. Alright, hopefully they whiff. Draw some lands. Draw some lands. I won't forget our time together. <laughs> oh, a little late, Cry the Granarium. A little late there. Game two. Yeah, that was less than Jake a little bit ago that was playing. So we got a whole bunch of moment cravings, a cry, a ritual. Probably one duress negate. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, let's see. I do not want Narset. I do not want um, Liliana. I don't really want Ugin either. I mean, Ugin can kill Frenzy. And so it's like, I guess we have to play it. Let's get Hostage Taker out of here. Let's get Ral out of here. Eldest Reborn out. Okay, so we're at 63 right now. One of those boluses. And now. I think I want to take two Thought Erasures out. I don't want six discard spells. And I, I like Duress more than Thought Erasure because of how cheap it is. I like the one over two mana. But if we're if we're trying to make this game go longer. Us just drawing discard spells is how is definitely a way to lose. So I don't want six of them. But I want the one mana of Duress. Over the two mana of Thought Erasure. So my plan right now is like turn two moment of craving, turn three duress plus negate. I guess we're just going to go Thought Razor first. So they didn't play a creature. So Steamkin I can kill. I'm not taking Steamkin. It's, it's Light Up Chandra and Chandra. Light Up is just Divination. But like it's gonna kind of cost two cards to draw two, and that's fine. I'm gonna take the take one Chandra, hopefully negate the other Chandra. Or I guess I have the duress also. Yeah, I should probably duress. Alright, we'll get rid of the light up. And we'll have negate for Chandra. Hmm. Yeah. 
That's pretty hasty there. <clears throat> now they don't have any protection for their lava coil. That was kind of impatient, just throwing out those burn spells for nothing. This time they didn't. They're like, all right, well, learned our lesson. I'm not gonna just throw out this lightning strike. I'll just let it get exiled instead. All right. Well, hopefully they just don't draw another. A ooh, that's perfect. And say hopefully they don't draw a lava coil to kill the bolus. But yeah, now this is game three. Unfortunately, we used like all of our good luck there that game. Hopefully we saved uh, something for these other, for these next two games. <laughs> All right, we got this. You're right, can't think. We got this. Yeah, Judith Deck went poorly. Um, it was a lot of close games. We were just losing to like bigger creature decks, like Rekindling Phoenix and Wild Growth Walker. Those two cards were just such a huge problem for us. Last match I played pretty bad. I threw away the last match. I did good with the with the Judith deck off stream, and I I think it's really close. I didn't give it a very good showing, though. All right, Kelvin. Have a good one. Uh, you can check out the video later on the YouTube channel. It'll be up there. I wonder if I'm supposed to keep, like, one land double moment of craving. Like that. It's just so risky, keeping one land. Oh, yeah. Cry of the Carnarium does just blow up the Judith deck. I mean, I think Chandra is a, is a huge addition to the deck, though. You know, I had four Chandras in, the, in that deck. I think Chandra was is like a really valuable piece to the the that Judith deck. Just running four of those. Hmm. They still have another light up? Wow, okay, well, that turn went horribly for me. That was the worst possible for that turn. All right, we gotta draw something that costs four here. I even consider putting in the hostage taker over this one nickel bolus. I really wish this was hostage taker right now. I guess if it was Hostage Taker, I would have had to shock to play the Taker. All right, good luck, Aduriel. Oh, well, I messed that one up with the Moment of Craving. 
I don't want them to be able to untap and I mean even if they like they would just go to attacks though like that's what most everybody does in face of a removal spell but I didn't want them just to be able to un untap and still be able to ping for like a live to stage or anything oh, I'm, I messed that up with that moment of craving if I would have just waited they did have the 2-2 haste and if I kill the 2-2 haste with a moment of craving we gain like you know I don't know two or three life Maybe three life there. And obviously that three life was all the difference. But I mean, even if I have an extra three life, then I'm just sitting at, you know, basically three there instead of zero. I guess I'm, I'm sitting at three instead of zero, but then I gain four, so I do go to seven. So yeah, that, they, could, they would have had to draw a, a few burn spells, not just one. What's up, Tilo? <laughs> I sung this song last night on karaoke because it's been on stream a bunch. It's awesome. Yeah, mono red still mono red, yeah. Correct, Mariatis. Yep, that's when all those four sets will rotate is like end of September, basically, when the fall set releases. I don't know if they announced the exact date of the fall set yet. Um, on the draw. Yeah, we'll keep this on the draw with our 26 land deck. We got a couple... Removal spells. Alright, let's see if we can make up for losing to red last time. Yeah, there will be one more expansion before rotation. Uh, there's going to be Corset 2020, which will be out in late June, I believe. Kept a one lander. Let's get that thing out of here. July 12th. That was close. This one. I, so basically this time I don't want them to untap and be able to Wizard's Lightning. Basically, I don't want them to have the one mana for Wizard's Lightning. Rar, Bolus. <clears throat> get rid of another one of those. Yeah, get rid of that bane fire. So I'll be playing Ral next turn. I could have done the Ral this turn, but I like I don't know. I like Bolus. All right, so Bolus can play some defense. So Ral this turn. Enter the God Eternals. Forked next turn. That's a pretty cool combo. Yep. For raw power, hurricanes be dragons. No question. I want them to play another creature, hopefully. Play a creature. Do I have to have, like, the targets for both of them on the stack? Or can, like, the first one resolve and then I start targeting the next one? No, because it would be the... Yeah, no, it's it wouldn't work. I was seeing if I could, like, play one, make a token, and then have the other one copy it. it that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Yeah, but I it doesn't... Yeah, it's just not going to work, so... I'll just cry. 
I, mean, I, I could kill Bolas. Genius inventor. I got it all. To gain four. But I don't know why I scribed before doing this either. Let's cry after. Perfect. <laughs> You're not gonna like this. I know this won't kill Phoenix. I just want to gain eight. Back up to 20. <clears throat> and they chump. They got one card in hand. No chumping. I like it. I don't like milling mono red because of risk factor. But obviously, we're at the point of the game where it doesn't matter, of course. So I just have two lava coils. I'm gonna get rid of chemistry's insight. Kind of do. Let's do this. Yeah, but Narsa doesn't do anything else except for against risk factor. That doesn't. It's, it's hard to cast with the double blue. Uh, it dies super easily. Yeah, you can find the deck list right here. Exclamation point deck. Gets you there. If on the board I have a creature of 10 toughness and I use Arcbow, can I put in Galta for 2 mana? No, you can't. Arcbow only checks the CMC and doesn't, doesn't check that reduced cost. So no, that's only whenever you're casting at that reduced cost. Uh, Tron is referring to a modern deck that is built around three Urza lands. But yeah, it's referring to it's a reference to a modern deck. Because when you get those three lands in play, it's like you assembled Tron. Assembled a lot of power. Like in our hand. Got to get our top end to pull away, though. So taking the light of the stage will keep them from being able to cast multiple things. So they'll just cast one Chain Whirler. And then we cry the Carnarium to get rid of two things. 
And then we get hit by the Chain Whirler, we Lava Coil it, then they play another Chain Whirler. And then the second Chain Whirler is going to be a little tough. Chain Whirlers are definitely really good against the Cry of the Carnarian plan we got. Sometimes you see opponents against removal heavy decks take out Chain Whirler, put in Legion War Boss. Would have rather them have War Boss. So they got one card in hand. I'm going to make them discard it. Cool, it was a lightning strike. Hope they brick. Yay, they bricked. If they would have attacked with both, I was blocking anyway. <clears throat> this is where we're at. But that makes it easier when they brick like that. Dark um, yeah. They want to use a three damage spell to kill the hostage shaker and deal one damage to me. That still saves me two life. And I don't have to worry about like blocking or anything here. What a rip. I think we got this. Should be over. Unless it's like Frenzy, then a million cards. Nope. And we are two and one. Exactly, though. Which we had, we had one more with uh, playing the chain whirler. We could have dealt one more if our opponent was at eleven, but we'll take that exactly, though. So why do we target ourselves with God Eternals? It's because they could have risk factor that we could just be giving them a risk factor. And there's, so we're targeting ourselves. Wait, uh, one second. I gotta take this phone call here. Sorry. Okay, never mind. Never mind. All right. So it was a little too late. I think. Gosh, double frilled mystic. Oh well. I think there's somebody that's supposed to show up to take care of my lawn, and I think they're here because my dogs are barking a bunch. But they were supposed to be here previously. But I think they're here now. So I should probably go check on that. Hmm. Be right, right, I'll be right back. Nope, looks like dogs are just barking to bark. They're just, just barking. So that's why I thought that phone call was. I thought that phone call was like the lawn person.
All right, next turn we'll have Thought Erasure. They play Frilled Mystic, then I play, what, Enter the God Eternals or Sarkin. Which they may not play Frilled Mystic here, we'll see. Double Oketra? Kidding me? Ugh, so gross. Well, one will catch her down. It's double frilled mystic. Maybe I should have taken a frilled mystic. Just don't know how I'm being both a Ketras. I have to get this this other frilled mystic out of their hand and not let them have I can't let them have protection for for God Eternal Oketra. But unfortunately, this rampage is just not going to do anything for me. There's no way they have another Frilled Mystic, right? Unmored Ego, Oketra. Um, I think that's about all I want to do. I have the ritual of soot for like tokens and everything. Actually, yeah, I don't. I don't mind ritual of soot. Um. Play that over the other Narset too. I think the Narset's just gonna kind of take damage from like um. Mana creatures and everything. We're not going to really be able to protect it. They don't draw multiple cards a turn. Oh, I thought I thought one of these was a black source when I kept that. I thought we had a black source. Hey, CEO. Want to draw a black source? Hopefully. Tilt. I kept that too quickly. I really thought we had a black source. Ugh. I thought one was one of those was blue black. Swamp. 
We are playing a lot of black mana in this deck. Yeah, we have 19 black lands. 19. There's a lot. We have the full 16 duels plus three swamps. Too late. And these Angrass Rampages have been horrible. It's Friday. Turn three, Oketra. You got me. We need to draw a Swamp and a Ritual of Set this turn. And then we're still almost dead. Well, I mean, my hand was a mulligan. But... Yeah, my, my hand was a mulligan. So that's unfortunate, but I, I don't know if we beat that hand anyway. I mean, it depends on like what, what our mulligan would have been, but that was a really good hand for them. Oketra is just a huge problem for removal heavy decks. It really is. As you as you saw, I, I would basically never want to play Unmoored Ego, which is a card disadvantage card in a, in a matchup like that. But Oketra is so powerful that it's kind of necessary. Sandgrass Rampage looked pretty bad most of the time. Yeah. Wasn't so good. Um, of course, it can get Planeswalkers and everything, too, though. This deck was pretty cool. Uh 2-2, two, two, didn't, you know, we played twice against Mono Red and went 1-1 one, one there. I didn't I didn't play perfectly. I mean, I needed to mulligan that last one. Um, so, Soul Diviner. I don't know if we need Soul Diviner in this list. Yeah, Soul Diviner felt kind of odd. Like, Soul Diviner and Grass Rampage were, like, my least favorite cards. I like a, a whole bunch of... I kind of like the idea of just a bunch of different of these four and five mana rares and mythics, though, because there are just good situations for kind of all of them. And so, you know, I like having access to a Kefnet, for example, and having access to an Eldest Reborn. The Eldest Reborn was, like, surprisingly really good for us. Like, it was it was nice having that Eldest Reborn in there. Um and then, of course, you want Contempts and everything. The Hostage Takers were pretty good, too. The Hostage Takers were good. So, yeah, like, like Kefnet, Hostage Taker, Eldest Reborn, those cards were good. And those are, like, cards you don't necessarily see all the time. Sarkin was a little disappointing. We didn't do that too much with Sarkin. But... But as far as, like, when you have your two-mana two removal, I don't... I don't know. Rampage wasn't really what we wanted. But it's pretty cool of like seeing like some different cards. Enter the God Eternals was amazing, of course. Ugin was really good. Didn't get to we didn't draw Liliana at all. We didn't draw Chemistry's Insight. Um, those cards are fine. Cry of the Carnarium is just awesome in this metagame. But So the pro you said hostage taker is the best card against that band deck. Well, see, hostage taker doesn't take Oketra because you know they just put the Oketra back in their library. Um. So you just can't. We just can't get rid of that Oketra. But could use like more sweepers. Maybe. Only two total Cry of the Carnarium and one Ritual set. Not very not very much in those respects. Uh, Moment of Craving was pretty good. 
I wonder if Moment of Craving would just having more of those in the main deck, maybe that would be better than Rampage. Um, but yeah, still still kind of still working on Grixis control. I liked I did like Eldritch Reborn Hostage Taker. That's those two cards were very uh, were very good. They were pleasantly surprising. Um, so there we go. If you were watching this video later on on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned some stuff about all these different cards of and everything. Ritual of Soot main deck. Yeah, you, you can definitely play Ritual of Soot main deck. As you can see here with this list, we have a whole bunch of different cards. I don't know if I really like this Chemister's Inside. I don't I don't think I want the Chemister's Inside in here. Like This card's a lot better whenever you're playing a lot of instant speed stuff, and you can play this on it. You know, play. You know, keep up. Keep up on whatever counter spell or instant speed removal, or if not, draw two cards. It's not nearly as good if you're just going sorcery, draw two cards a lot, because basically, so much of this deck is sorcery speed stuff. You know, almost everything, and so therefore you're not really holding up other things. So I think the the insight. I, I would rather have some other kind of card advantage than Chemist's Insight. Like, is Search for Escanta better than Soul Diviner in this kind of list? Very good chance um, to help you. And Search for Escanta just does a good job of making sure, like, smoothing out all your draws and everything. <laughs> yeah. So, there we go. All right, if you're watching this video later on YouTube again, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, that's it for Grixis.